Hello, it's Stuart back. Still going through eBay looking uh, at various collections, records for sale. Hope you'll find this amusing. Hope you find this interesting and informative. And so um, I'm not going to be talking about recordings, um, you know, relative merits of different labels, etc, etc. This is, uh, I, I do videos either on that kind of thing or on purely buying and values. So if you're not interested in values and the sort of nuts and bolts of buying and selling classical records, then this video isn't for you. Okay, so I found this. You often see this on eBay. You see like, you know, a collection of a thousand records or something like that or 500 or whatever. And, you know, the question is, is it worth buying such a collection in? And obviously it depends on what your motives are. And obviously in my case, uh, I'm, I'm trying buying and selling records to try and make money. Plus I'm also a collector. So let's have a look at this large classical record collection, 250 pounds starting bid ends in five days. He supplied several pictures. Let's try and evaluate whether this collection is likely to be worth buying. So we're going to be looking for evidence that there are some cherries in here, some records that we can sell for a premium price and hopefully pay for the rest of them. Let's just have a look and see whether that's likely to be the case. So let's have a look at the first picture on the front. I mean, this is useless. All we can see are three records and none of them are that interesting. Um, Solomon, white and gold. I never used to be able to sell that, you know, even in pristine condition that's going to be worth negligible amount of money. Uh, Perlman and Ashkenazi, they're not a collectible combination. And we've got Shostakovich with Ormandy. Nope, no good. That's not worth anything. So let's have a look through some more pictures. Okay, we've got Menu in Brahms. That's not collectible. There's not even a stereo label on that at the front. That's probably a, that's probably mono. And um, I mean, he's left the same record here, Ormandy, for us to see again. Strauss on Argo, no, that's not interesting. And then we've got an archive there, which looks like, oh, what is that? Um, oh, whoopee do organ concertos or you know, organ music. Forget organ music. Organ music is not collectible. It's to be avoided. And we've got Barbaroli there conducting on pie of all labels. And we, we can see the same old Solomon. He's showing the same records twice. Why doesn't he at least... Um, move them around a bit. I mean, that's crazy. He's got all those records there and sitting against the radiator as well. That's not, uh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> okay. Super fun. Uh, we've got, you know, Jean, John John there. Um, but you know, that's a reissue. So that's not going to be worth much at all. Ormond, uh, it's like Stern. No, he's not collectible. Um, no, Rubinstein, forget it. He's not collectible. Okay, now this is a bit more like it. This is what we really want to see. We want to see the spines. So I'll be looking for evidence of one single record that uh, you know we can actually sell for, for reasonable money. Let's just have a look and do a close-up. Let's go through them. Puccini, no. Geely, no. Boris Goodenough, no. Schubert, Quintet in C major. Um, Quintet, Qu Boccherini Quintet looks like a mono. Toscanini, Rubinstein, no, no. Beecham La Boheme, no. Toscanini Requiem, no. German Requiem, Kemper, no. Mephistophele, that's a mono set. Um, Sifra, um, is that an ASD? No, it's an ALP. That's a bad sign because he's got a lot of ALPs where there are ASDs. In other words, somebody who in the early days didn't have a stereo record player and he was buying monos because he didn't have a stereo record player. Bad sign. More ALPs to Los Angeles, Solomon Piano Concerto Number no. 1, La Boheme, uh, Buzzoni List, Ogden, and that's an ALP, 1864. It's all bad, it's all bad. Horowitz, Sonata, no. The Fledermaus, no. Quite a lot of opera here, Scheherazade, no. There are no stereos, no, nothing interesting. Myra Hess, no. Organ Recital Schweitzer, no, no. Piano Concerto, Rachmaninoff, no. Uh, no, there's nothing here. Um, Klemperer, Symphonies 38 and 39, that's going to be Mozart, isn't it? Yeah, but that's probably a mono. Doesn't say, but I guess it probably is. Um, Symphony number no. 2, Kletsky, Scotch Symphony 3rd. I mean, they're all monos. They're all orchestral monos. Haskell and Ander, no. Um, Arau, 
33 CX 1531 no not a single record there of any interest okay so this is when he finally in the 70s decided to buy a stereo record player and finally we've got some ASDs but they're all it looks to me like they're all boring uh, ASDs uh, ASD 364 Yeoman of the God well whoopee do um, Gilbert and Sullivan oh yeah that's all we need Janet Baker's C pictures no um, in a summer garden, Delius, lots of English music here. We don't want that, do we? Mozart, piano concertos, Barenboim, no, no, nothing here, nothing of any interest, not even a Dupre, uh, Enigma Variations, Beethoven Violin Concerto, Menuhin, no, La Traviata Callas, an RLS, no, nothing, Sonatas, uh, Nutcracker, what's that? Nope, it's another ASD. Um, the Hoytling Quartet on Seraphim, no. Callus, no, no. Uh, the only Callus that's worth anything are the blue and silver SAXs. Apart from that, forget it. Um, no, nothing. Just, um, just you know, ASD, Sibelius Digital. No, there's absolutely nothing here. Weber Overtures, this is just nothing at all. Concert Classics. Uh, it's probably not even worth me looking at anymore. Berlioz, Romeo and Juliet. Kathleen Ferrier, no, we've got some late 70s um, deckers here by the looks of it. Orchestral Works, Jubilee label, no, not, not even full price label. Carreras, Domingo, um, we've got some more, ah, uh, digital, we've got some decker digital. I mean, actually, I buy those, but only pay a pound each for those decker digitals. Um, plenty of those. So, you know, I mean, I might be interested, I could buy the whole lot off him for 50 pence each. But he wants to sell the whole lot. He wants to sell all of them. Lots of Decca Digitals there. But, you know, there's not even any, there's not even Chung playing a violin concerto. Sibelius Symphony Number no. 7. Or there's not even Victoria Malova playing uh, Sibelius Violin Concerto, which I noticed went for £70 on eBay the other day. I'd really love to have that record. But no, you're not going to find anything exciting like that in this collection. Yeah, so nothing there. And, um,. I probably don't want to waste any more of your time on this. Lots of choral music, Argos, loads of Argos. No, nothing here really very much. Uh, here we are, we've got some archives. Let's see. Oh, we've got a, oh, we've got a Viotti Violin Concerto. Oh, that's not, that's, uh, that's disappointing. I thought that was going to be Bach. Uh, Bach English Suites, that's piano, isn't it? Or um, harpsichord. Um, music for harp, nope. Mozart clarinet and oboe concertos. No, that's Hogwood. No, okay, well, look, I'm not going to waste any more of your time on that. I can tell this collection uh, is that there are 900 records. I wouldn't want them. You'd have to pay me to take them because it would be too much hard work to go and collect them and then to do what with them. I mean, really, it's all charity shop fare. Uh, either this collection has been picked of anything which is I mean I'm surprised to see 900 records without a single record really that's worth more than a fiver and quite often you get this people will um, invite a dealer around sell the cream to a dealer and then try and offload the rest of it or sell the cream themselves and then try and offload the rest which is fair enough for 250 quid those 900 records would be a good starter collection for somebody but in terms of them being worth money and in terms of maybe if you wanted to try and buy all those and uh, sell off the best ones to pay for the rest, it's a non-starter. I'll have a look and see whether he manages to sell that. I'll be very surprised if he does because that collection is just too much trouble. Okay, that's my opinion on that one. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, my uh, URL is above if you want to visit my website. I'm still stocking it up. It's early days yet. So, you know, bookmark it and you'll be able to see the records that I'm buying in and actually marketing. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.